On the 9th of December, 1531, something miraculous and something extraordinary happened. Our Lady, our Mother, the Mother of God, appeared to a man named Juan Diego, who we, celebra we celebrated his feast day on Wednesday. She appeared to him very much in the way that Our Lady is described in the book of Revelation, clothed with the sun and with the moon under her feet. She appeared to him and she didn't ask to be worshipped. She didn't ask praises for herself, but she asked for a church to be built. The church became the shrine of Our Lady of Guadalupe. Our Lady left as a token of her appearance, an image of herself impressed in the cloak that Juan Diego was wearing. And that image is still venerated by many who travel to Guadalupe to visit the shrine and on pilgrimage. An encounter with Mary, whether it is a miraculous encounter that only few people have experienced, or whether it is an encounter with Mary in prayer, when we say the Angelus, when we say the Rosary, an encounter with Mary in whatever shape or form it comes, it's always an encounter that leads us to her son. Mary doesn't ask or do anything for herself. She always points us to her son and always points us to the will of God. Remember how in the Gospel of John, at the wedding of Cana, when the wine runs out and Mary realizes what is happening, she tries to pers uh, persuade her son and then she says to the servants one of the most important phrases of all, do whatever he tells you. Do whatever he tells you. An encounter with Mary is an encounter that leads us to deeper understanding, deeper knowledge, deeper love of her son. And it is an encounter that always reminds us to be in tune with what Christ wants from us, his followers. So today, as we celebrate Our Lady of Guadalupe, we pray that we may be always attentive to the promptings of faith, of prayer, in following her Divine Son. And we pray that Mary will accompany us with her prayers, with her motherly affection, to become more faithful Christians, more devoted to her Son. Oh, glory to